John, introduce us to this guy standing oh. next to you. What's <laughs> going on here? We met in about 2000. And these are Mountain just holy yeah. you know, And then many crazy yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. And what's your name? Fred. Hi, Fred. Oh, yeah. He lives in Pollock. Oh. Yeah, Sly Park. Oh, oh. Loon Lake. That this is the couple that you guys yeah, went. We camped every year up at Loon Lake. Mm -hmm. So we saw the snowshoe hike. That was just or amazing. Yeah. And then they went back with wine and cheese. Yeah, the next up on top year. of the mountain. Uh, Restarting? Here comes the food. The wedding hasn't started yet, but we're seated. And there's the caterer coming in. Going up back there. Beyond the fence, you can see that's where we'll be seated. So, everyone's keeping an eye on the house, waiting for the queue. On behalf of the bride and groom, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this occasion honoring the marriage of Melinda Smalls and John Moose. We have come together, families and friends, in the presence of God to uphold John and Melinda as they make their vows of marriage. Better for worse, better for worse, for richer, for poor, for richer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. According to God's holy order, and there too, I pledge you my love. Melinda, please repeat after me. I, Melinda Smaltz, I, Melinda Smaltz, take you, John Williams, take you, John to be my wedded husband, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, to stay for.
combining of, the, of your lives. The first jar represents you, John, and all that you were, all that you are, and the other vessel represents you, Mary, and all that you were, and all that you are. Each one holds its own unique beauty, strength, and character that can stand on its own, and and on a, our whole as individuals. However, in the blending of the sand, they create an entirely new and extraordinary entity. Each grain of sand brings to the mixture a lasting beauty and forever that forever enriches the combination. And when you pour the two vessels of sand into one, it symbolizes the union and blending of your lives. It would be extremely difficult to separate those grains of sand and pour them again into individual vessels. So will your marriage be a molding of your two individual personalities, bonded together, forming one heart, one love. The life that each of you experienced up till now, individually, from this moment on, will be an inseparable unit, so that two shall become one. And as we listen to the words of this song, we invite you to, to pray for the couple, and let this be a time of meditation. I pronounce that you are husband and wife together, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined, let no one separate. And now the Lord bless you, keep you, the Lord make his face shine upon you, and be gracious. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you, and give you peace. John, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> it is my pleasure to present Mr. and Mrs. John and Melinda Moon. This day, I've given her to John, and I'm welcoming John as my new family member, and say cheers to you. Cheers. Yeah. Please yeah. raise your glass and join the cup. Cheers. 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 John, welcome to our family. Hey, everybody. You don't have a glass? Yeah. And next friend, who is our best man, is going to come up and let's see if he's going to roast him or toast him. I need both. Yes. And see it. Well, I've uh, known John now for a decade, and uh, I first met him, he, uh, he was still kind of a kid, you know, going to junior college part-time, working in the bike shop, and watched him uh, grow and get his degree, and uh, now he's getting married, and just uh, watching him uh, become a man, and I'm very proud. <laughs> Now roast them. <laughs> now roast them. <laughs> now what do you want to do with this? <laughs> if it was your glass, you could have toasted too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, Rachel's a very special person, too. Uh, I met Rachel's father and mother. How many years ago was that? Almost 30. Almost 30. Oh, we were at a mutual friend's wedding, and a pregnant woman was standing in front of us, and her husband said, I wonder where the, where the other pregnant woman was, and I tapped him on the shoulder and pointed to Linda. And Rachel and Mindy are one day apart. We were born. Yeah, two days old. We were born. Um, our birthdays are a day apart, and so we're 
so that's always connected us when we were little um, at preschool. We the father of the bride dances with the bride, and the mother of the bride dances with the groom. Oh, get into the car, baby. We're hitting the road. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's always hard to leave a party, especially your own. I told her, let's go. We're late. <laughs> We're late for the good times. Oh, you're going to go party more? Oh, yeah. Oh, the wedding part. Oh, the good times of the being married part, yeah. 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 Over the cabin. Yeah, In Donner? Yeah, Donner. Oh, so you got it quite tonight? That's why I keep telling her, let's go. Oh, you got a road go, trip. Go, go. You're all packed, so you can hit the road now? Yeah, we can hit the cool. road. Cool. We're going to go, gonna go over to, uh, we're going to leave here and go down to Ingle Street in Santa Cruz and go to the organic brewery. Mm. Buy some beers. So I'm going to buy you a bottle of their organic IPA. All right. So you got something to look forward to when you come back. All right. Good. Do the West Coast. Oh, well, I, I, I plan to. There's some other strange ones. I'll be doing Bevmo made tomorrow. There's a canned IPA, uh, 21st Amendment, brew free or die. It's a weird IPA. It's more, uh, more like piney than orange. You, you, like Pliny the Elder, have you drank that before? Uh-uh. Because I don't, I've drank Pliny the Elder and it tastes, I, we didn't care for it. We, we like IPAs, but we didn't like the Pliny the Elder and, it, and it's, and it's, uh, it's highly rated, but it has a funny little taste. I don't know if that's Pliny or not. Or another, uh, of our favorites for the stout are, uh, uh, Young Double Shot. Yeah. What are they doing? Are they tying things onto my car? They are. You're now gonna be, you're gonna be a girly man going down the road. If this comes off, is that considered littering? You know, it might be, but if you tell the constable it's our wedding, he might let you off with a warning. Yeah, you're supposed to at least kiss your mother goodbye. Oh, we're gonna try to duck out. I know it, but see the kiss these days? They're horrible, aren't they? they just these horrible. kids. Yeah, you, you know, raise them well money. and they want to just I grab and run. Yeah, they, they won't even kiss their mama. <laughs> they won't even kiss their mother. Take your kiss. We He's waiting for his bride, there. so. Well, shit, I know you were just up there. Well, give your mother a kiss. Jeez. Oh, jeez. It's not that. No, this is a one time event. You're just exaggerating. Oh, oh no.
doesn't want to see it. Oh! Hey. What is it? Look at me that blue car.